So this year Pico have produced this fantastic set in HO scale and we are selling them as the set. They, they come in two parts. Um, my view on this is for something like this you want the complete train and it's a nightmare getting the two pieces together you know later on when one part or the other part is sold out. So we have the complete eight car set, the class 101 loco and all the intermediary coaches and the cab control car. So huge boxes. If I put it up on the end it shows the contents of each box and if we have a quick look on the back it shows it from the cab control end. So the Metropolitan was this beautiful train designed to recreate the luxury of the past and to try and take back um, business travellers from the Hamburg to Cologne route um, who just hopped on a plane. So it's much more ecological, shall we say, and perhaps sensible in security to just run a train between the two cities and produce a really luxurious train so there's wooden fittings inside and no expense was spared in producing the coaching stock. They are custom coaches and two sets were completed. So they look similar to standard coaches but they are actually very different from the, the standard Deutsche Bahn coaches. Uh, four of the Class 101s were painted in the silver livery to, to run the route. So here's the complete train in the two boxes. I've got loco, cab control car and then the intermediary coaches. They're all connected electronically um, and the coaches all have lights fitted. Uh, I'll show some of the features on the track. I haven't got enough room or a sensible place to film the whole train sadly. Uh, I'd need a really nice layout if someone would build me one. It seems sensible to start at the front of the train. We've got the logo here and coach number one. And really nicely each coach has a number on one of the doors so you can put them in order. Um, coach one always has to be at the front of the train. It has a black connector at this end and a grey connector at this end. The grey connector has got four connections so it does the lighting and pickup. The black connection only has two. So the loco passes power down through the train but it doesn't control the train lighting. The train lighting is controlled from the cab control car. So put the loco up there. And we'll scoot this coach out of the way. So the loco is a brand new tooling from Pico. Beautifully done with all the undercuts. It's quite subtle in the design. And the vents in the roof have real depth to them as well. They've got photo etched grills over them with the ventilation shafts underneath them. Everything is fitted on the loco, so all the handrails are there, they're windscreen wipers. And this silver livery just stands out on this nice smooth loco. I'm talking of smooth, the mechanism is beautiful. So Centrally mounted motor driving all four wheels. It's on analogue control and it's really sweet. Put it up on the rollers just to show the smoothness as it goes up to the speed. And of course the lights then come up. And the lights have reasonable range at different power. They come up quite early on. 
Right, I've got the cab control car here and one of the coaches just to show the sort of interiors. Don't worry about these, these are peel off window protectors. I've left them on, um, just stops the windows getting scratched, but they will peel back like a mobile phone cover um, and they will come off when you're ready. So the cab control car here has the lighting. And tail lights. Actually, the cabin light comes on, and the control desks light up as well. And then down the coach, it's fully painted inside. Nice little table decorations as well. And this one has got one of the bar areas in it. So these little pogo tables in there. What's really nice with the bespoke connectors is that the connection is really seamless right on the corridor bellows. Um, it will go around tight radius corners. I think it's radius 2 as a minimum radius. Uh, full kin kinematic on the couplings so they will swing round. Just looks really good. So there we are, it's one of those really nice sets. Um, it's a shame that the real train didn't catch on. I think it was sadly too expensive, as I say no expense was spared on the coaches. The coaching stock and the locos returned to Deutsche Bahn. The coaches, the two sets, were used for ICE replacement trains and painted in the white and red livery. Which I suspect at one point or other Pico might do as well. But it is a. It's one of those great looking sets.